Sheffield University is a hub for knowledge and academia, with old subjects such as law being taught aside the newer disciplines like computer science. The old buildings, like the first court right beside me, stand up to the nearly opened. And lecturers pass on their knowledge to the younger generation, equipping them with the skills that they need to change the future. The relationship between the traditions of the past and the ideas of the future have shaped the university from when it was three separate institutions. The first college, the medical school and the technical school to the present day. Today's episode will focus on Firth College, founded by Mark Firth in 1879. After founding the university, Firth was one of the world's leading gun forgers, which had made him incredibly wealthy. He lived here at Oak Brook Mansion, where he entertained royalty on two occasions, and in contrast to his monetary source, in his spare time was very charitable. After the Ladies' Educational Association's failed attempt to have Oxbridge lecturers give evening short courses, Firth organised a public meeting and raised £1,000. The lectures were then held at Cutler's Hall, and the first ones were so popular, they sold out of tickets. Consequently, Firth built a specific building for the upper middle class customers to attend the lectures, called Firth College, which later became known as the Leopold Hotel. However, before the building opened, Firth decided he wanted to expand his education, and announced that the building would be used for the promotion of the moral, social and intellectual elevation of the masses, as well as the middle and upper class. This is clearly a step forward towards the education system we are familiar with today, and the college even taught women as well as men. However, not all the staff was so liberal-minded, and the ideas of the past were so hard to shift. A former student of Professor J.C. Moore-Smith recalled that. If a woman turned up late, he listened with icy courtesy and impassive face to her stammering apology. If a man was late, he gave him a rare and friendly smile, realising, as one man to another, that a man sometimes had to be late. The old buildings were redeveloped into the Leopold Square Complex. Complex. Leopold Square Complex was built in 1879. Uh, Mark Firth's Oakbrook House started as a, com uh, a convalescence house for um, officers in the First World War. After that, nuns bought the, the house uh, to be a grammar school for girls. My nan went there as, as a child, but she couldn't afford to stay there as it was too expensive. However, now uh, it's a comprehensive school for, uh, for both uh, boys and girls as the sixth form college uh, at Notre Dame High School. Uh, it's perfect for Mark Firth as this is, a, is an amazing legacy that he's left. Um, as he strived to include all uh, backgrounds of, of wealth, of, of knowledge. Um, so he, he included everyone and now Notre Dame includes uh, every background, every gender and that's perfect for his legacy. <laughs> 